So I do have the Empress and the Seven of Cups. What's going on, Scorpio? We are confused, right? We feel that we live in an illusion and we have Seven of Cups again coming with us. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Strengthening bonds, but do we, right? That's a question. On the front, it looks good, but are we really? That's the Seven of Cups and the Two of Cups. Confused about love. Are we really being together? Are we really being in a connection? Is it serious? Is it, you know? So let me see what's going on. Seven of Cups and the Star Aquarius Energy. Maybe dealing with an Aquarius, but this is healing confusion. This is wish fulfillment and finally being at peace. Five of Cups. Whoever did, whatever they did, they have regrets and guilt at this moment. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. While you are uh, confused, they are suffering. And the judgment. I know, judgment day is coming, right? Every time we see judgment, we, we know it's good. If a connection is um, still in place, showing up, it is a renewal. It is a big decision. It is a good decision, right? Something that will make something um, grow stronger. That's a judgment. So, um, bottom of the deck, four of wands. I feel that I'm picking up the energy of marriage, of um, commitment. This is joy and stability. No matter what, we are building something solid um, that has roots, right? So, past energy on your side, the person you are dealing with. And, of course, mutual current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, judgment, I love this, blossoming, reminds me of uh, Pisces energy. Sorry guys, so I'm, uh, I'm back, I just took a, a second there. So Scorpio, let's see what, um, what's going on. So in the past, what have we um, had in our energy? We do have lovers, Gemini energy and the seven of swords, betrayed love. Somebody definitely was dishonest with us with the seven of swords. And it's interesting, it's, it said uh, seek the truth. So probably you tried and you found out something. Or maybe you found out because you felt something is right and you did something about or just showed up the truth and um, and about this love that you have, you know. And I kind of feel that is a judgment day here uh, with the judgment, Scorpio. But we'll see how this um, rebuild and blossom, I know, right? That was a tower moment and now let's see. We have the energy of rebuilding, of uh, major decisions, renewal, um, that type of energy. So let's see on their side, Five of Swords and Five of Pentacles, they were conflicted and feeling alone. Um, they are fighting something, their own demons and their own solitude. Um, you know, it, um, feeling alone, Five of Pentacles, it has the energy of rejection, uh, of depression, of being by themselves, excluded, feeling that they don't belong, that they, they don't fit. Um, it's an energy where, you know, like, feeling that I will never make someone happy. And um, the Five of Swords, again, conflicted, 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 right? Mutual energies between the two of you, pride and inner struggles um, in the past, Scorpio. And I know I'm kind of blunt, right, when it comes to the reading, but the universe is had so many fives in your way, right? Um, we had the Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, challenges and changes and inner struggles and feeling we don't belong and insecurities because somebody cheated, lied and deceived and we, um, you know, kind of um, went to see what the truth was when it came to love and, and probably this is what became a challenging time, you know, so somebody's dishonesty became a lack of trust and, um, and, and because, you know, um, it was a marriage, it was a commitment. Well, what are we right now? We do have the Six of Cups, Memories of Love, Reconciliation, Having a Bond is the Soulmate card, and we also have the Four of Pentacles, holding on to this person, Hold, holding on to what once was, right? This is going through communications and energies together and um, staying hooked, right, on it, and uh, trying to protect the bits and pieces that left and... Um, and simply loving them. That's a six of cups. Simply love. Simply, simply love. 
Now this person is in the Nine of Wands energy. This is the Wounded Warrior. They rest, they reconsider, and they wait for ships to come home. Might be a fire sign. We have a lot of wands here. Um, three of Wands, Nine of Wands, and um, Five and Six uh, between the two of you in the past. So a lot of fiery energy. It has this energy of, I know I've invested in it. Um, so ships will come home to me, but it has also this energy of... Um, I'm not going to do much about it. I've done it now. I have to be in self-protection mode or, you know, that, that type of energy. So, um, an interesting one. It's, um, you know, it's fire and yet it's very well seated, um, you know, on it and expecting things. Mitchell energy is between the two of you. We do have the eight of cups and the world moving on and embrace. I feel that, uh, both of you kind of feel this might be over. Uh, maybe both of you are looking into it and thinking, you know, um, yeah, the world is um, coming, you know, <laughs> at the end of a chapter, um, happy endings, um, emotional detachment, this is going one day to hurt less, that's also the energy of the core of the reading. And we do have rebuilding after disruption, second chances and, um, and reconciliation, I kind of feel, Scorpio, that this is your energy. We have you still in love with them and still connected to them and still judgment day wanting for them to make a decision for you to make a decision because it involves commitment for of ones living under the same roof putting our roots together family stability and joy so i kind of feel we are still connected but they are hurt and they are um looking into um putting some emotional distance so that they can think straight and embrace like a new chapter of some sort and a new beginning. Energy is coming your way. Share the love and reach out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Reconciliation and partnership is coming your way. With this person, we do have... Um, so three might be important for someone, but you do have 6633, three, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> so so it's, it's very... It's double. Double the love, double the reconciliation, double the happiness and double the reaching out. I don't think they want to stay forever they might be in an energy and i don't feel it's yours at the core of the reading it's mainly theirs we have this energy where the mind tells someone i have to emotionally detach and i have to move on and i have to embrace whatever is going on i'm not gonna hurt myself i'm gonna embrace what's going on and move with it move along with it now this person of yours um scorpio they have the devil uh, coming their way and the hierophant both major you know they might be afraid of the traditional commitment over here they might be afraid of a traditional marriage where we have contracts and we sign pieces of paper and we say it's forever maybe you know you are um, connecting uh, with someone saying you know we'll go day by day um you know what's what's in a piece of paper you know uh that is not in the real life connection so we absolutely have master and teach, right? One is the master, one is the teaching. But I feel it's more an experience that they had uh, if they've been married. It's more of a, a learning experience that the marriage can be toxic or it changes vibes, right? That's a devil with a hierophant, you know, a sense of... But can be a Taurus and a Capricorn you are dealing with or one or another or um, they have both and... Um, and uh, this is how it um, shows up in their energy. Mutual energy is between the two of you. I would say a lot of lust, but a lot of hurt too. We have the Nine of Wands again, and this is their energy. And honestly, they have such an overpowering energy all over the place is their energy, even uh, on your side, you know, so it's um, overpowering energy. So we do have the strength, can be a Leo you are dealing with, and the nine of wands, you know, staying, um, being on our best behavior, staying in control, but also hurt and, um, and in retreat, um, you know, overpowering energy, they feel really hurt, really hurt. Might have been something toxic and somebody is kind of reminded that they have a, they have an issue with marriage, uh, fear of marriage or... You know, some form of luggage of, of what a marriage was in the past and we have them, you know, uh, staying sit for now. 
But there is no doubt coming your way. We have shared the love and return. We have reconciliation and partnership. The outcome for you is this, but at this time, their energy is so overpowering, so, so important. And, um, and it's one of considering and waiting and talking and expecting results, um, you know, um, talking to themselves and with themselves, right? Um, you know, looking to have to gain some emotional distance so that they have a, a new perspective on, on this, whatever this ended, right? I don't see them moving much, um, Scorpio, so let's ask for some guidance and see. The question is always the same. Should we say yay? Should we say nay, right? So we do have the rainbow reviver. Somebody forgot to have fun and the universe is saying you need some spark, you need some fun, you need some colors, you need something that's spicy um, that will, um, you know, uh, bring different type of energies. Scorpio, we do have some self-respect, so that is, a, that is a Scorpio out there that needs to work on this or is guided to. Um, that is something in this connection where you don't respect your needs and your wants and, and um, the person you are, what you've accomplished. Um, you might um, not be respected by this person from time to time, twice the nine of wands. Um, is the energy of somebody, uh, you know, shutting you out. And I kind of feel that we are guided towards having fun, self-respect. We do have sexual freedom. So somebody here, uh, right, is guided a little bit to break free from whatever, um, you know, um, thing we have there, right? So listen with your heart, Scorpio. You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. So when it comes to this connection, we have to listen with our heart, break free, self-respect, fun, and we have focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. I feel that you are guided to deal with this connection from a place of ascension, right? Three, I would say, focused on you. Um, the rainbow reviver, the fun, um, changing the energies around you. Um, self-respect and sexual freedom the other ones are the way you deal with this person and you are really called right to see the good in them and to listen with your heart which kind of means they are going through something that's uh, not funny to go through and um, and you are asked to be um, to be kind energies we need to put back into the flow or right overcome we do have envy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges and i'm going to put it with listen with your heart i kind of feel uh, that we don't have to judge right we don't have to use the mind but the heart when it comes to this person um hear them out but in a different way in a non-judgmental way we do have patience i accept that everything happens in divine order Right, so we are called to be patient about what's going on right now. We do have sexual freedom patience, so you tell me how you resonate with this. And we do have surrender to non action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. What else? Pride. I know we do have, right? Challenging inner struggles and pride. And pride might be an inner struggle, right? So I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And again, right? I see myself in everyone and I do not compare. My challenges are not the same as theirs. We don't compare. I kind of feel that we might judge them about something they are going through. And they do have the devil, which can mean addictions. Uh, some fears can be jealousy, you know, can be something that they need to surrender. It's something re related to commitment and marriage and being with somebody and sharing the life with somebody. Um, and we do have loneliness, right? Overcome this. I know that I'm never alone. Probably some of you feel alone in this connection and the universe is saying, no, you are never alone. You are not by yourself. You have spirit guides, right? And angels and um, you are not alone. It's just, you know, loneliness. It's such a um, an energy where we disconsider actually, right? That we are creations. So I'm just saying. 
Um, so Scorpio, I do believe this person of yours, they absolutely need time. I don't feel they are ready to move on just yet. And they have fears that they need to deal with very overpowering um, energies. So, um, Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe and come to me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.